My name is Monica Katoon. I'm a care worker in Smithwick and a Bengali interpreter. I used to do voluntary work and, um, and then I joined up an agency and with the NHS and the PCT and I just got, just expanded. I could be at a, a doctor's surgery and there could be a patient there and who's quite poorly and they can't express themselves to the doctor what is wrong with them. So they will tell me and I will tell them, tell the doctor explaining the problem. So when they leave the doctor's surgery they know they've told everything what's wrong with them otherwise they would have felt uncomfortable how to express what's wrong with them and walk out the doctors feeling even worse than how they went in. So once they know they've got a voice there and they can explain exactly in their own words and I will explain it to the doctor. If someone was interested in interpreting I do advise them to go in so basically just look up on the internet, look for the agencies and register yourself and the benefits that you get out of helping others like by you being their voice is so good and you just get a uh, buzz out of it as well, yeah, because they feel confident and they, you feel good as well that you've done a satisfaction job. I'm a care worker in Smethwick called Karam Court. In the night we get on shift and uh, my residents are ready for bed so we will wash and dress them, put their nighties on, pyjamas on and tuck them in bed, get them ready for bed and then throughout the night um, we do our general duties and we do the cleaning so first thing in the morning the care home is all tip top clear, clean yeah, and throughout the night we do regular checks if anybody wants a drink, if they get up to use the bathroom if they need a pad change and generally just looking after them, just monitoring through the nights, whatever they need, so they've got like 24 hour care. I started off doing night work, the reason because it fitted in with the children, basically, because I wanted to spend my daytime with the children. And obviously in the nights, obviously they're in bed and you know they've got um, my family to look after. So it suits them, so at least I'd spend time with my children and I go to workers and help others in my time. So I'm sacrificing my sleep to help the people in need as well. So it, it did start off with that. But now going into night work, um, I've got an interview at Wolverhampton Uni to go into adult nursing or mental health. So it's like going into care work has made me look for other routes as well. I feel I've always had it and, and by day I just seem to be progressing and I seem to be doing more for others. I'm always there, like I put others first all the time. And I think I experience as well with um, looking after my mum. About um, 11 years ago she had cancer and looking after her by day and night as well. I mean at that time somebody did say to me, like at the hospital, like my family member, that you could do that. And I just thought, no, I couldn't do that really. But um, and then I went into admin, right? So from admin, and I've gone into this sort of profession. And I'm thinking, why did I do admin? Yeah, you realise, as you know, what is right for you. And I think this is 